Hey, what's up guys? This is Bubba TV 24 and welcome to the channel. Today we are back in the game, A Dusty Trip. You guys seem to like the last one, so we're going to try this again. But today, I want to try something new. Whoa, there was a truck that just disappeared. Did anybody else see the magical truck? Um, okay, we are going to try something different. You see this right here? This is a van. It's a really old, crappy van. But we can use this van as a vehicle and that is exactly what I want to do so we need to get some things going and we needed to put it together but to put it together it is fairly straightforward and easy and also this is not a lunchbox it is a light I understand that now so there are a few things we need to do so we do need the same things that we would put in the car but we need to take these things and put them in other places if you can't figure out how to get the van going and where to put the engine the engine goes right here between the passenger and the driver's seat so there is where it goes we're gonna put these doors on and do the same thing that we did in the other thing with the car the difference is that we actually have less doors hoods and all that fun stuff to actually have to work with we just have three doors on the front but we do have to do pretty much everything else that we would normally do with the other car including putting tires on stuff like that now one thing that we can do unless it gets hit by lightning uh, is we can actually clean this car up a little bit so we do have a hood here so let's put this here for now we'll grab one of these and place um, no uh, what what happened wait place oh what is happening Okay, so the van is a little bit weird. Okay, it is officially eaten my front bumper, but I would say that's okay, but it is not okay. I can't even put the grill on because of it. What's happening? This is a piece right here that I have no clue what it actually is. Oh, maybe it's the cover. I bet it's the cover for the engine. I'd almost bet you it's the cover. Yeah, it's the cover for the engine. Okay, there we go. Um, so that's buggy. Let's go and fill up the rest of the van with stuff here. So all the stuff that should be in there is kind of in the same place. Uh, I am having a bit of a, a glitchy game for some reason right now. It's a little bit weird, but let's go ahead and put this radiator into place. That I, Where is it? Um... I've lost my radiator. Okay, so the van's a little bit glitchy. Uh, you may have noticed that I restarted. Um, it's because, uh, well, things like this keep happening where I try to put this bar onto the front, but it goes and breaks inside. There we go, it worked that time. The heck, dude. I, I can't get that to fix. I also don't know where the other headlight is for this van. And every time I spawn in, I had to restart. There's something that spawns here, like a new vehicle, like it was an ATV this time I think they've added, but the last time it was a truck, so I don't know what the deal is with that. And these also don't work, and I can't actually go anywhere because the stupid fuel, there we go, keeps breaking. So clearly the game's a little bit buggy, has some issues with some things. I still also don't know how to get around a gas tank that has, or a gas can if I find one that has water and gas in it. I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do there. You may have to, if it has water, you may have to put it in the radiator first. I'm not exactly sure. We may have to do a little bit of testing here on this one. And it's supposed to, here we go, we click, it cleans the car. And now the car is clean. Just be able to go. Here we go. Let's get moving. Uh, we're going to get rid of that and then do that. R to turn everything on. We're going to hit the lights when I can. There we go. Get the lights on. And we're traveling. Look at this. We're on the way out of here. So hopefully I can find some like actual stuff that's not garbage. This van also can get pretty fast fairly quickly. So a, a little bit of a trick that I've been doing is getting up to speed here. And this is just to save for gas, but we're getting up to some speed here. And then we're just going to shut the engine off. We're going to shut the engine off and just coast for a little while because this thing can actually go pretty fast. So we want to stay relatively straight. So that way we don't lose our speed that is floating uh, and just kind of keep going and then once we lose our speed down to a certain point we're gonna turn it back on and then just go from there and get our speed back up 
So yeah, we have a little bit of a ways to go. It hasn't turned dark yet, which is something that I've been kind of expecting. And if I do get stuck, I can actually just walk if I really, really need to. I would love to find a weapon or a gun or something that didn't require me to purchase it first. That would be kind of nice. But I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to really deal with a lot of these mutants because once they come after you they stay coming after you for a long time so that's a thing let's keep going here All right, we got ourselves a building coming up looks like we have a couple of buildings right here so let's just sort of shut the engine down there's a pump here I'm for let's go check the state of the pumps All right so we're here we have this now the goal is 1.3 liters of gas 0.9 Point six. Okay, let's uh, open that up. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see if we can't. Yeah. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to close this up. Boom. And let's see if anybody's inside. I want to make sure no one's in there waiting to eat me. No, it doesn't look like it. Let's check inside here. Oh, they're right there. I don't know what that is. It's a radiator. He's kind of stuck in the ceiling. So it looks like we may actually get a little bit lucky. There's no food none of that that is still up there and kind of what we're wanting to do is keep him running into that wall there so we're just gonna uh shut that off and then we're gonna get out and let's check the window here uh oh uh oh hello guys uh so there is something inside i don't know what it is it looks kind of like a headlight honestly i don't know what it is we're gonna take it with us and see if we can't then take a look at it i don't know what it is Oh, looks like we have a dust devil. We gotta be careful of it. Let's not hit this. Uh, is it? It's coming for me. Let's uh, see if we can't get around it. It's really... Stop following me. Go, go, go. All right, we got a few gas canisters. All right. Car was a little bit stuck. I don't know if I can move or not. I, I can't move. Why does this always happen to me, dude? Guys, I can't move, and I don't know why. Uh, I want to play this game, and I want to like it so much. But it is so glitchy. I can't move. I have the car here. I am full on gas. If I get out here, look at my tank. 10 liters. That's it's just pure gas. Pure gasoline. Close it. Boom. I can even push the car to get it moving. I've got some can canisters in here. Maybe it won't let me do it because it's too heavy. Let's see, maybe we're stuck in the ground or something. There we go. Oh my gosh. It's ugh, this game is so glitchy guys We finally did it. we got ourselves a ton of gasoline. We have like 16 liters We got so much out of there. This game is so glitchy though that you might have to take your car apart a few times and like Put it back together just to get it on the road, but so far we are going to be cruising for a little while we have quite a lot of gas and we may actually hit a personal best if I don't explode or something along the way. That would really be unfortunate. And it seems like the mutant in that area was a little bit more kind. Um, he didn't want to come out of the thing. So whatever they did in the last update has kind of... It, it seems like it's kind of broken the game a little bit. Yep. Yep. Oh wait, did he... No, he's trying to kick me car. Did that guy die? Yeah, they're not dying so okay that's um probably not worth going into with that many mutants we have enough gas we can just keep going for a little while so let's go up here i think i see something else in the distance maybe we can grab uh another is this a billboard or is this a house what is this that's a, that's a stone what is this up here that's a billboard all right we have a problem we're gonna have to kind of coast it we're out of water so i'm not going to get very far but i am going to get somewhere because the engine is or not the engine but the the problem is that the engine or the radiator is out of water but we're just going to kind of um keep going here yeah we're unfortunately i think we're overheating here as you can see on the gauge hopefully the car doesn't like catch on fires it's dead I will say I think the one great modern invention is, at least for the car, is that I don't think radiators use water anymore. At least not in cars. They used to, which is why that's a thing. I think now they use um, other types of coolant, but like, I, you don't I don't hear about water in a radiator anymore. Alright, there's another building up here on the left, but I'm so hungry I'm about to die. 
So unless there's food and water and stuff in there, uh, this is the end. This is this is as far as I make it. I almost made it to 5,000, which if my water wouldn't have run out, would have been great. I would have totally made it. Let me guess, what's in it, what's in it? I'll take the death. Diesel, I can't even do anything with diesel. Have fun with that. Oh, of course there's water. Look at all this rain and I can't do anything with it. Let me starve. All right, we did it. Guys, if there's a way to beat these enemies that doesn't involve a gun or buying a gun, let me know because that would make the game a lot more fun, personally. I hate having to kite these guys around. Even hitting them with the car, it doesn't kill them. Oh, I get a free revive? Yes, free revive. I'm gonna assume this sign right here is the 5,000 mark. There's something up here. Those rocks or is that like a blockade? What is that? Uh, why does it all look so... Okay, we may... We got, actually got a badge for that. Nice. There's a bridge here. There's actually a giant gorge. Is this the farthest that it is? is this, does the game end here? And then there's like a bridge. Oh, so this is going to be an issue. Can I actually make it? Uh, yeah, I should be able to make it back. Let's see what else we got. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. There's so many things. But gosh, getting to it would be... Oh, frick. There's a rocket launcher in that room. Did I see that right? That is, there's a rocket launcher there. I just don't know how I'm going to get to it. Circle, 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 circle. Guys, we found a way to kill him. One's dead. Two's dead. Wait, where's my rocket launcher? Oh, yes. Oh, this is my house now, buddy boy. Get out of here. More diesel. Oh, we got a gun? Heck yeah, dude. We are at a bit of an impasse here. That is water. That is so much water. And of course, we have the other issue of even if I get back, how do I bring the car here? We have a long way to go. We have some water. We have to try and get back, though. I have to journey like 2,000 miles. I found it. I found it. Ah, jeez. I found it, 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 I found it. We did it. We're back in the car, baby. We have some water. My hunger is still, my hunger still is not going down. Now that we have water, we also have a little bit that we can refill. We're going to need to worry about oil, maybe eventually. It's going down a lot slower. Uh, gas is, should still be good. But once we get to the bridge, here it is right here. We're going to have to be very careful getting across. Let's get across here real quick. Ain't it? No, no, no. I can't see. I can't see anything. Oh no. Okay, back up. I'm stuck. Um, I can't see. And immediately I broke the game. Wait, we can get out here. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Uh oh. This is a problem. <gasps> I am so in trouble. <gasps> oh, this might not be good, boys. What was that? Did you see that? Oh, no, 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 please don't. Please don't. Don't do the thing where you glitch through the floor. No, my door is gone. <gasps> it's gone. My tire's gone. Freaking cap fell off. Uh-oh. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> well, guys, I died on this forsaken bridge. I knew it was going to happen. The brakes on this just do not work. Yep, I fell off a bridge, thanks. I am extremely disappointed in myself. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it. Feel free to subscribe. I'm gonna go throw myself off a bridge, IRL. I'll see you guys next time. I've been BubbaTV24 and I am signing out.